Hello, this is you guys here 19 and welcome to a project of sorts. So, I was thinking that my channel is a half ROM hacking channel and half console gaming channel, but the amount of console gaming I've been doing lately has really has really outshined the ROM hacking channel. The ROM hacking part. So I decided that today I want to try playing more ROM hacks or just adding on to that side of the channel more. And so we've ended up here. Whether or not I regret this in the end is, uh, we'll see. Anyways, here we have 100 Rooms of Enemies by Daiso Devon, my good friend. And, uh, might just be me, but. When the logo showed up, I'm pretty sure that was the intro of Jack's theme from Final Fantasy X. Yoshi has challenged Mario to go to the 100th floor mountain where Mario has to get as far as he can to win. So if you're unfamiliar with this ha hack, it's been out for quite... about a... almost two years now? Going on two years, I believe. It's basically a survival game, to where you have to kill. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a hundred rooms, and you have to kill enemies in each of them in order to progress. It's pretty much similar to like the uh, Pit of a Hundred Trials and the Paper Mario series. So we're gonna go ahead and see how far we can get. And we're doing the arcade version, by the way. Which, the arcade version, you have uh, five credits, aka lives. There's also another version called Do or Die, which you only have one chance to get things right. I decided to just go with the arcade version because it's been a while since I played a rum hack, and I don't think I could get very far in that. But, one day I might try the do or die version. Don't hold me to that though. So things start off fairly simple. Uh, not too complicated. But that changes. Oh, does it change? Fun fact I believe I actually beta tested this one time. Oh gosh. Let's not get screwed over by our own red shell. As you can see, I already got hit, which I don't think is a very good thing this early on. But yeah, I beta tested some version of this. I don't think it was this version. I think it was a much earlier build. So this isn't exactly blind, but it's been a while since I played this, so I don't remember the tricks or anything like that. I'm just hoping not to die too soon. Yeah, this room is a bit tricky. I knew that was gonna happen. And... Wow, I think I just screwed myself. Sorry, I'm just seeing if there's a way to like reset or anything. Doesn't look like it. So, uh. Okay, we're back, and uh. I believe. Unless there's a way to reset, we kinda soft locked ourselves, so. That kinda totally threw all the five credits out the window. Kinda funny, actually. But, anyways, uh. And yeah, I'm already gonna get. Yeah, now it's a really good thing I'm not doing do or die mode. But I also believe every uh, T 
10 rooms, you get a power-up. So, as long as we could stay Big Mario until then. Which you would think would be an easy task, but this is me we're talking about. So, if I was unlucky enough to soft like myself, I'm pretty sure I could screw up. Crap! Alright. Okay, let's try not to do the same thing we did last time. <laughs> okay, it wasn't every 10 room, it was uh... Every 20 rooms, I believe. So now I really have to do good on surviving. Also, we have Sky Century Zone. Or... Or Sky Fortress, I believe? I don't know. All I know is it was a Sky level. And it's from Sonic and Knuckles. That's all I know. There is a trick to doing this part easier. I believe you have to go to the very top and slide, but... Oh, that was very close. But instead, we'll go for the double spin jump. For some reason, I'm not very good when it comes to this. Been jumping on enemies. <laughs> so I usually just kind of jump on them and use their shell against them. And now we have trucks coming in, so things are going to be a bit more difficult. I believe this guy is a splitting truck, so. Oh! Yeah, we don't want him to jump over... <coughs> we don't... <coughs> Sorry, I'm still kind of getting over sickness. Or I might be getting sick again. But we didn't want him to go to the very... right of the room. Because... Chucks like to jump over things. And these guys just shoot twice, I believe. Oh. I'm... Very smart. But, good thing we could try. Uh, in the original version of this, I believe you, there wasn't a continue. So once you died, you died? Or the first build of this, I should say. Well, this one, you have time really well. We're gonna go ahead and bait this guy down here and kill him. Alright. Oh, I believe the trick over here was just kind of to bait all these guys to the corner and just kind of stay in it. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely the easiest way to deal with them, in my opinion. Alright, this is where things start to get... ...noticeably more difficult. Oh. Mm. I also like how the music kinda changes every time. Every 10 floors, and same with the environment. Kinda just gives it a nice little arcade feel. 
Uh... Okay? Uh, Mr. Koopa there tried to stop the shell and it kinda backfired. Oh! I did not expect that. That could have been a dirty trap. Uh... That is not what I want to happen. I'm very bad at timing these shell jumps. There we go. Uh, and here where the moles start to come in. I believe these are the ones that start jumping? Something like that. Or maybe that's, like, some room ahead. Alright. Oh, this might be a bit tricky. But as long as we time our jumps and get to this guy, there we go. Kind of stopped him from going crazy there. Okay, I remember this one. Yeah, this, this is Lauren. They jump and kind of have to make sure they don't fall on you. There we go. You'd think they all start, uh, you know, jumping in the same one after a while. But I believe Daiso timed it just so they, uh, would go back to their place they started in. But just smart. Alright, now this is where it starts to get really difficult. Uh, we got it. That right there, you kind of have to run and jump, which I'm actually all too familiar with because I actually have a lot of run and jump segment segments in my ROM hack, so. Oh, oh, that's not what I wanted to happen. Yeah, I think it's much easier if you just let these guys kind of... Okay, uh... Forgot he goes on to the platform. Okay, so that guy relaxed down there, and... This way. Yeah, this is where the thwomps start coming to play. So, fun fact about swamps, uh, so, 
their left, their bottom left corner is, if you remove a platform or anything, they're not above, if there's no, if there's nothing blocking their bottom left corner, they'll go completely through. However, it's not the same thing when it comes to the right corner. Not sure how that quite works, but it works. Also, the funny thing about that is if you have custom blocks that <laughs> cause the platforms to break when uh, the ramp crashes onto it, it will actually break both the uh, tiles. So that's interesting in my opinion. Let's not screw that single tile jump. Okay, uh... This part is kind of tricky. But I believe the same thing kind of works for... Yeah, it works for the sideways thumps as well. Okay. This one should be easy. Keyword, it should be easy. But I'm not very good at this game, so there we go. And we get more power, it's cool. Also more, more hazards. Also, as you can see, we're into the forest area. Let's just let this guy charge into the cliff, and yeah. I also really like the... just the thought behind this hack. Uh, Daiso managed to come up with some pretty cool concepts. And just creative ways to use... single screen, so... Gotta give him credit for that. He really thought about the positioning of the enemies, and just... Yeah. Okay, this part might be a bit tricky. There we go. Uh... I think the first first build of this room was uh, much harder. If I remember correctly. Okay, this might be a bit tricky. Yeah, I thought that might happen. Sometimes this I don't exactly know how the hopping flames work, but sometimes they, uh, jump. Sometimes they take a massive leap and just kind of screws you over. I want to say it's like if you're too close or something like that. Not super familiar with how they work. Despite, you know, playing Super Mario World a lot, I actually don't know a lot of things in the original game. Oh, also, did I mention there were boss fights in this hack? Yep. Uh, 
Oh. Okay, there's a specific way to do this that I remember. But what? That was right on him. The slip just kind of causes annoyance, but as long as you keep pushing up, it shouldn't be too bad. You just kind of stay higher and just wait for Mouser to come down. Don't. Ah, oh, gosh, he hit me. But that's okay. So, yeah, starting from now, I believe every 10 floors is going to have a bit of boss fight. Uh, Mouser. Honestly, it wasn't too bad, but it's about to get worse, so let's go ahead and continue. I'm just hoping the fireball doesn't screw me in some parts. Hmm. Leave if we kind of work our way from the bottom here. I don't think the same strategy will work for this guy, though. Yeah. This one you have to do a bit differently, because... You know what? At least we just got one hit taken off of us. Not me do that. So I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to be in the background. But I believe that's like kind of a Easter egg. If you know there's a Devon like I do, you know that there's two things about him. He loves his oh thing. He loves his references and he loves his Easter eggs. So I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, uh, I did not know he's gonna go to the bottom like that. We're losing all our lives here. Ah, oh, dang. I always kind of found that room a bit tricky. And that is it. That is the highest we got. Well, to be honest, I kind of expected to totally get that high. It's been a while since I played ROM hacks, and this hack's not exactly the easiest. So, to be able to get a little more halfway, I think that's pretty good for coming back to playing ROM hacks the first time. That's just me, though. Anyways, uh, it's been fun. I'm most likely going to come back to this again sometime to try to get further, but till then, see you guys here 19, and I will see you later. Have a good night.